Now let's create a trigger that will run our automatic retraining pipeline on a regular schedule. So we'll use schedule, let's give it a good name. I'll give it a description, oh, or not. Okay, well, let's make this hourly, and we'll want it to start on that date. Let's also, we can keep it running if a block fails. We can also make it so that it skips a run if it's currently running already, so that they don't keep piling up. Great, so now that we've created that, we can enable it and it'll start running and we can actually save this trigger in the code so that if it's deployed anywhere, that trigger will be created if it doesn't already exist. And these triggers are saved alongside the pipelines. So if you look at the automatic retraining, there's the file. It stores the trigger configurations there so you can version control it. And as we can see, it's kicking off. The first one detected that there's new data, and then it triggers the other two.